Hi guys, so I decided to try and make this uh, very requested uh, comparison because I understand um, the struggle is real and I really would like to help you guys, um, the ones of you that want to buy a nice watercolor set but not sure which one. So today I will be talking about the Magello 36 uh, tube set and I have a full unboxing of this set and it's a, a watercolor tube set so you get 36 tubes of watercolor. So it looks like this, you get four of these little boxes and there are tons of unboxings online so if you're interested in this set just look for one. Um, I want to focus on comparing it with the St. Petersburg uh, 36 full pan set white nights so you get it in these little seven milliliter tubes and then you squeeze a little um, I recommend squeezing very little these colors are incredibly uh, pigmented and intense and a little goes a long way and you can always come back and it's nice to have that extra space in the pans so they're not completely full and so this is the Magello set and then this is the St. Petersburg set, which um, I kind of customized mine a little bit. Um, I switched a few colors, and um, but this is the color swatch that I made when uh, I first got the set. So these are the colors that come in this set. And these are the Mission Gold uh, paints. So, uh, both the, these sets are uh, roughly the same price and you get the palette and the paint um, which is common with um, pan sets but not necessarily uh, with tube sets but this one does have a palette that has exactly 36 um, wells and I definitely think um, I really like this palette I mean this one also has a lot of space for mixing um, but um, yeah I would probably say that if judging only by the palette I think this one has uh, is a great uh, palette. I think both sets are really great value for money because these are artist grade and um, both really really pigmented so yeah good choices on that uh, front. This palette is a little bit bigger when you open it but you can take this out if it disturbs you and easily put it back in. So I say for me when I think about it um, I use I have to say I use this one more than I use this one and I'm I'm not really sure if there's like a logical explanation the one very clear difference to me is that the blues in the St. Petersburg set are much much nicer in my opinion and more I would say um, standard when compared to other sets than the Magello and I'll show you what I mean the um, the St. Peter St. Petersburg set has an ultramarine which is gorgeous it has a uh, phthalo blue which is a very it's a staining um, kind of more yellowish uh, warmer blue and very both of these are very very standard in sets you'll probably get them in almost every set you buy uh, small or big and then they also have a cobalt blue which is lovely it's um, a little bit uh, warmer than ultramarine and really lovely for skies and that sort of thing. It has <laughs> the indanthrin blue, I hope I pronounced that right, uh, which is a gorgeous kind of darker um, blue and these are all till now, these are all single pigment blues. And you also get cerulean blue that is lovely and granulating, uh, also a single pigment which traditionally these colors are single pigment but <laughs> you'll see that in this set um, they did mix some. So you get five 
great blues then you also get indigo um which the both sets have indigo and both are mixtures of um a few pigments and both have black in them but yeah as i said five lovely lovely blues that probably you really don't need any more i did add i think a couple to mine and i'll try to remember to show you at the end um how i customize this palette or maybe i'll do that in a separate video and okay so let's move on to the magello and the magello there are um five yeah uh, five blues as well and they are three of them are really really staining turquoise ones and i'll show you they have what they call okay the names are also very different than the standard names that you find in set so their cerulean blue is actually um phthalo blue and um and yeah, I don't know why they call it cerulean blue. Their cobalt blue number one is a mixture of phthalo blue and uh, ultramarine. And it doesn't really look like cobalt blue. I mean, look at that. This is like a beautiful, um, you know, clear day, pretty sky. And this one is, I don't know, more on the, it looks a little bit more like the phthalo blue. Then they have peacock blue, which is kind of like a turquoise blue. So I'm not even sure I would consider it really as a blue. It's more of a turquoise. Um, and the white knights also have a really lovely turquoise. That is the mixture of the same two pigments that Mijello uses. It's uh, phthalo blue and phthalo green. So PB15-3 um, and then PG7. Uh, both mixtures are nice. The... Um, it's one of those convenience colors that I really have like to have in a palette. The White Knights one is a little bit more on the greenish side. Then they have Ultramarine Deep, which I think should just be removed from this palette because it's just too annoying. It's a nice color, it has nice granulation, but Ultramarine is usually just PB29. You can find it in every set. And for some reason they added to this one also purple. And it is quite on the purplish uh, side uh, compared to other ultramarines and I just don't see why it should be a single pigment it's a great basic color for using for mixtures to create greens and to create um, a classic uh, combination is gray with uh, when you mix it with burnt sienna so this really really bugs me and I think what I will do is just when I'm done with this blue I will just um, I won't refill it I will just add regular ultramarine okay <laughs> and then the last blue that comes in the set is a Prussian blue which is a single pigment PB27 it's a nice um, it's a nice color it's it's a nice addition to any palette but I think probably color choices, this is the greatest weakness of the Magello palette, the blues. Uh, obviously, you can customize this. You can buy a couple of tubes of blues from other companies and just um, fill them and use the other Magello colors. Um, so just to uh, talk about this. What I do like uh, in the Magello set is their range of pinks and for me, I really I don't use a lot of earth tones and um, both sets have a lot of them uh, also the white knights have a lot of uh, earth tones um, I think they're okay to me because I don't use these a lot I don't have such strong emotions <laughs> maybe in other reviews of other artists um, or crafters you can find a more educated opinion about these but I'm I'm happy with either with either one of these uh, neutrals. But what I mostly use is, are yellows, pinks, blues and turquoise, and then some greens. And the pinks in the Magello set are really lovely, I have to say. Um, and they do have the Bright Opera, which I love for mixing. I actually have a video just mixing opera with pretty much all the other colors in my palette. Um, I also really like their red-violet, even though it's quite similar to the quinacridone rose 
um, in the in the White Knights set. Um, yeah, so it has a nice selection of pinks and the yellows I would say are pretty comparable. Um, yeah, and I have to look, but I think from looking at it at a glance um, that the White Knights have more single pigment colors than the um, Jello set. So, and also, you know, you have to keep in mind that also this set, you can um, customize it and just switch around if you want. Like I added a couple more uh, paints. These didn't come with the original um, set and you can just switch it up according to what you see that you use, which colors you want to add to your palette. Uh, and it doesn't have to be from the same company. Obviously, you can buy any tube color and squeeze it in this palette, and you can buy any uh, full pan or empty pan and, full, and fill it with tube color in this palette. So both can be customized with time if you feel the need, or immediately. <laughs> um, one thing that I do want to mention, if you want to stay within your brand, um, I have to say that the full pan White Knights um, pants are so inexpensive that it's ridiculous you can get most of or all the colors i think are between like one and two euros something like that or one and two and a half euros um so really really inexpensive that's why i felt completely uh comfortable uh adding all kinds of paints because it was so so inexpensive if you want to stay within the magello brand and you want to buy uh, more tubes of whichever paint, um, this will set you back uh, more because the tubes, uh, when sold like open stock, uh, they're more expensive. So yeah, another thing to keep in mind. Okay guys, so I decided to do a real head-to-head -head comparison of all the colors in the set. Well, almost because I did kind of customize my White Knights palette and I think I removed two or three of the colors that come in the original set. So please take that under consideration and uh, check all the details yourself before you make a decision. So I just want to say that, that you know um, that I'm not showing you every single color of the 36 ones. But okay, so let's start with the price. I, As of today, what I found on Amazon US is the White Knights set for $69 with Prime shipping, and uh, there were some lower offers from other, you know, third-party sellers. I think I saw as low as 50 something dollars. And the Magello set that I'm reviewing here cost uh, $61.99, so $62. Uh, dollars. And I think there were also some uh, other offers but that's how you can find uh, on Amazon. So uh, the Magello is $7 cheaper. Um, however, <laughs> I'd wait with that. And at Ken Bromley in the UK, the White Knight set costs $56 today. Um, so let's go through the colors. And I'm sorry it's a little bit wonky. I made it on one sheet and then I decided it would be easier to um, cut it so we can focus on each color. I'll zoom you out a little bit so we can see the whole thing. And what you see here, what is marked with the um, pink Copic are colors that are single pigment. So I marked with the Copic the paints that are single pigment and uh, single pigment is, is single pigment paints are preferred by many uh, artists. I use both single pigments and mixed pigments, but um, I do like to use uh, single pigments and then you get also when you use them on mixtures, you get cleaner mixtures. So uh, a lot of people prefer the prefer those. So I can tell you that in the 36 set of the Magello Mission Gold, there are one, 12, I'll say, and probably the white is also single pigment, but I don't use white anyway. So 12 
single pigment, pigment colors out of 36. That means that the other 24 are mixtures of two or three pigments. So that's a lot of mixtures. In the White Knight set, 24 are single pigment uh, and the rest 12 are mixtures of two pigments and very rarely three. So that I would say is a huge point for White Knights. Now let's go to the colors. Um, in the oranges and yellows I don't think um, there is such a huge difference. I have to tell you that the colors are much lovelier in real life than through the camera lens in both of these brands. Um, White Knights do have, have three yellows while Mission Gold have two and I'd probably say that these are a little bit similar. The lemon yellow could definitely be a little bit um, kind of cooler but all in all it's it's okay and um, yeah the White Knights are also uh, lovely. In the oranges I definitely say that both Mission Gold and White Knights have two uh, oranges that are really really similar and it's a little bit redundant. Um, both of them have like a one pigment version, the rest is kind of like this other one I would take out and maybe replace with uh, a better color in my palette. Um, then there is this kind of more reddish orange that is kind of similar. This one is more, is brighter I would say than the White Knights version. The cadmium uh, red light of White Knights I think has this gorgeous granulation. I really love this color. Um, Mijello has a similar um, shade I would say but without the granulation and also I want to say that all in all I think the Mijello paints tend to be um, I think very few of them granulate so that's a good thing or bad thing depending on uh, your preferences so I would say and then we have ruby and permanent red which are quite similar the Mijello uh, version is just a tad uh, more brighter, I would say, more vivid. Moving on to the pinks, and I do want to uh, say that the the ones marked with a little star uh, don't come in the original 36 pack. Um, these are ones that I customized my palette, and most of the p colors that I added are really, really bright colors that I love but one of the problems with them is that they're uh, that they're not really light fast and in the original set I think I went through I think almost all the colors uh, in White Knights and I think almost all of them have a high uh, light fast rating. So pinks. Um, we have the Rose Matter um, kind of the Rose Matter from Magello. This is just I'll write it again so it's easier for you to follow. So this is White Knights and this is Magello. Always Magello, always on the right side here. Um, so these are pretty similar. Uh, I do love the permanent rose in the Magello set, uh, which is made with PV19. And it is a really, really lovely pink and there's nothing really similar in the White Knights set. Um, the Quinacridone Rose in the White Knight set is really lovely and it doesn't have... maybe the Red Violet is a close match to this one, um, but this one is a single pigment with high light fast and actually the Red vi Violet should also have high light fastness because it's made from two uh, light fast pigments but anyway this one is pretty the crimson lake is kind of similar i'm not really going to talk about the ones marked with a star they were just for my kind of personal preference to see how they compare on the palette but they don't come in the 36 uh, set um the quinacridone lilac in white knights is 
kind of similar to the red violet. The red violet is more on the pinkish side than the uh, quinacridone lilac. Um, the violet is pure pigment in the white, white night say, set and a mixture of two other pigments that are um, represented in this set, but I think only as in the Magello set, only as mixtures, not as single pigment, which is quite a shame. And they are both, I think here I just applied this one a little bit heavier. The, the Magello paints are definitely um, intense. So in that uh, respect, they don't uh, fall from the White Knights. Both are really intense and vivid. So just um, keeping it honest. The Magello set also has Bright Opera, uh, which is kind of this fluorescent um, pink, which is not light fast, but it's, I love this color for mixtures, but you can easily just add a pan to the White Knight set if you like this type of color, but it does come in the Magello set. Moving on to the blues, this is probably where I would say <laughs> just go for the White Knight set. Just my personal preference. It, it all depends on what you like. You don't need to have a certain set because someone says it's, um, you know, better. Um, you can take the advice, but look for yourself. And if you say, oh, I love, love, love only the colors in the Magello, I don't care if they are mixtures, um, then just go for that. So Ultramarine, this is, I think, a big faux pas on Magello's uh, part, um, giving an Ultramarine deep that is a mixture of two pigments and not the classic PB29, which pretty much every other company uses as, um, you know, ultramarine. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Magello has the traditional ultramarine in a tube, but in this set, you don't get it. Um, I think you can already tell that, ignore the turquoise, that you get a really lovely variety of blues on the St. Petersburg, the White Knights set here from ultramarine, cobalt blue, cerulean, indanthrin blue, um, and phthalo blue. Indigo is a mixture in both of them. It's kind of a convenience color, which is lovely to have, but I'm not going to, um, that's not a, a deal breaker here. And then on the Magello side, the cobalt blue, what they call cobalt blue, what they call cerulean blue, are really just, very very similar to phthalo blue and I just think you get a lot less variety and I really think it's a problem not not having the um, the classic ultramarine I think I would definitely if I wanted this to be my one go-to palette I would switch this color for uh, a regular classic good ultramarine. What I would say for this one that it has for the Magello, that it has beautiful granulation. Um, in this example, I think more than my uh, White Knights, but the White Knights have, you can see how these, the cerulean blue has this gorgeous granulation. And these are all single pigments except the indigo. And in the Magello set, you only get phthalo blue, uh, which they call cerulean blue and prussian blue uh, those are the only single pigments moving on to the turquoise this is actually the camera really doesn't do justice to these um, so this one comes in the white knight set and this one comes in the um, magello set they're both lovely uh, this one's a little bit greener this one's a little bit bluer uh, they're both mixtures of the same pigment, phthalo blue and phthalo green, PB15-3 and PG7. And this one I added to my White Knights um, palette, and it's very similar to the peacock blue, so just a little bit uh, bluer. Last but not least, well, it's these are my least used colors. Um, I would say in the greens, I did mention at the beginning that I took uh, one of the greens from this set, from the White Knight set, I took it out, and so it's not here. 
Um, but with that one also in mind, this set has five greens and the Magello set has seven. And I would say the sap green and yellow green in the Magello set are quite similar. Um, it's a little bit um, too much for me, I would say. Um, I do like both versions of their kind of olive green, greenish yellow, but this is a, a mixture set. So it's kind of like a, a, conv a mixture paint. It's a kind of a convenient color, convenience color. Um, both have phthalo green in their palettes, named in different names, emerald and white knights and viridian in the Magello, uh, both lovely. I do like this green on the white knights, it's from PG8, and it's this really lovely kind of, um, what's it called? Not moth. <laughs> moss moss i think i want to say mossy green and um yeah the i also the the greens in the magello are also nice and this one does nothing for me this is like a really i don't know i don't like this type of green <laughs> so coming down to the earth tones um i think I don't know if the camera picks it up, but a lot of the Magello uh, paints are mixtures of three pigments, and a lot of them are very um, kind of bright, and that might be a problem uh, for people if you're painting like realistic landscape or something. I think the uh, White Knights uh, color range is a lot more uh, realistic and you might, you know, have to kind of work at it a little bit with the Magello paints to um, just because they are so bright. Um, I don't use a lot of these type of colors so for me it's not a big deal. Um, I do like the Payne's Gray in the um, white knight set just you know by looking at it even though I don't use a lot of paints gray if I want gray I usually mix my own um, and there are also better uh, options if you want a ready-made paints gray this one is made with black and it has three pigments so not ideal in my book but it is a pretty gray and the Magello doesn't have anything comparable to that their uh, ivory black is yeah, they don't have anything more like a bluish gray. Everything is really on the warmer, uh, orangey side. Okay, that's it. A lot of talking. I hope this was useful to you and you can make more of an informed decision. I do want to remind you of another option, the White Knights set. Okay. So you can also get the 24 colors set in the 36 box from White Knights. And then you can add either full pans or also half pans, uh, which means you can get, see, this is, I just removed um, a couple of the full pans and you can just insert half pans and they don't move because there are these little notches you can see here see little notches and they keep these in place so you can fit a lot of colors um, in this palette and you can really customize it and kind of let it develop with you and i think that's a great option also for um, not spending uh, a lot of uh, money to start with the 24 set is obviously cheaper than the 36 set and also, uh, another thing that um, paints in pans as opposed to tube paints are cheaper. Meaning, tube paints are more economical. That means that, um, you know, they might be expensive, but you get a ton of use out of them. However, if you don't have like a lot of money or if you want um, a larger range of colors then pans are really uh, 
sorry, all kinds of interruptions that are <laughs> cutting my uh, train of thought. Um, so pans are just more affordable and full pans still give you a ton of paint. And as I mentioned before, the um, White Knights full pans are, the prices are amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.